And out on the track now, the women's four by 400 meter relay. Coming into the day, we thought it might come down to this event. Not the case. Texas, the collegiate record set in 04, meet record LSU, Oregon, the best this year, 330-23. Texas A&M, got a strong group here, and they are running out of lane four. And I will tell you, Pat Henry didn't tell the women, I'm sure, that they had already clinched the title. But take a look at who's leading off now. Janima Tarmo, this is her third race of the day but I will tell you one thing when you're going for a title you pull out all the stops the super sophomore is on the track again to get some work done and she has replaced Andrea Sutherland on that lead leg for Texas A&M and for Oregon also a strong group how about this change Brianne Tyson, the heptathlon champion, running the opening leg. That's done because the person who was supposed to run leadoff, Jamisha Youngblood, is still long jumping right now. So you've got to make that substitution. And a look at the field. Texas, Auburn, LSU, Texas A&M, Oregon, Arkansas, Penn State, and Texas Tech occupying the eight lanes. Check that round four. Texas A&M, a favorite in this event especially with Tarmo now leading things <laughs> off. They've just got so much talent throughout this roster. Interchangeable parts. They had two serious injuries, Natasha Roddick and Gabby Mayo, and they still are able to move the talent around. That's what I mentioned earlier on. He, he gets hurdlers, he gets sprinters, and he trains them to run up to the 400 meters if necessary. They can compete in the long jump, sometimes the triple jump. They are very versatile athletes, and it makes a difference when they're great at the national level. So Tarmo will lead things off for Texas A&M and Tyson for Oregon will open things up in lane five. Running for pride here, the women's four by 400 meter relay. Okay. Um, the fastest Texas times in the heats Auburn, was done by Texas A&M several days ago. Yes, but Oregon has the collegiate leader this year. And right now I will tell you, LSU is moving very well and that is Cassandra, Cassandra Tate. Tate moving up on Tarmo. Let's see if she can finish it up. So LSU strong out of the gate. Rian Thyssen running a very good leg for Oregon. The people that are falling behind is Texas A&M right now. Let's see if Tarmo can come through down the home stretch here. She's struggling. Well, you wonder if Tarmo's run out of some gas over the course of this four-day period. First exchange. And it will be LSU in front on that handoff to Samantha Henry. Well, I will tell you, Tarmo finished up really well. They had a nice handoff. So Texas A&M is still in the race. Now they can cut for the pole. Oh, and that's a savvy move by A&M. Second leg for A&M. Closing is hard for Auburn. Ashika Sharon running for Texas A&M. Lakeisha Williams from Auburn came barreling down the backstretch and put the Auburn Tigers into the lead at this point. A&M in second. There Auburn comes first, Texas A&M second, LSU third. And Oregon storming on the outside in lane three. Oh, what a move there by Amber Purvis. Auburn third leg is Kai Selvin. Oregon has got Michelle Williams now on the track. Well, Oregon is going to hope that on Michelle the Williams track. can hold them close. Arkansas, Oregon, a &M. Giving the baton to Keisha Baker. And on the anchor for Texas A&M, their right in contention will be the great <laughs> Jessica Beard. And boy, can she run an anchor leg. Oh, boy. Yeah, she yeah, had yeah. 50.1 seconds for anchor leg in the semifinal, no less. And Arkansas, how about this performance from Arkansas as well? Karen Thomas, but Oregon, it's a struggle right out front. Nobody is seated here in this entire stadium here in this grandstand section over and on the far side as well. Here we go. It'll come down to the final leg. For Oregon, Keisha Baker. For LSU, Latavia Thomas. I have to tell you, I am. I'm glad Jessica Beard's in second position because you can see this woman run. She will run this anchor leg. Can Keisha Baker hold her off? I'm not sure. But take a look at LSU moving out on the outside. This is going to be a really fantastic race. Oh, there's the 
move made by Jessica Beard. Did she go too early? That's the question. She's making her run wide the entire turn. Smart move by Keisha Baker from Oregon. So Baker has got her on the inside. Who's got something left in the tank? It comes down to Oregon and Texas A&M, and it is a major battle between Baker and Beer. Neck and neck. Oregon and Texas A&M, and it will be Oregon. <laughs> Keisha Baker gets it done at the tape. And she looks like she can't believe it because what a fantastic leg by Keisha Baker. She made Jessica Beer run on her outside that last turn. The anchor leg run by Keisha Baker. What a finish. Now, I honestly believe that the mistake was made by Beer trying to pass right here. What she should have done, if you cannot make the pass, you back off and you wait till you get around the turn. Keisha Baker holding her own on the inside, holding Jessica Beer to the outside. She ran a fantastic race because right here, she bided her time. Beard is trying to push ahead, and this is just, just two horses head to head right here. And Keisha Baker was able to hold herself together and drive through the tape. Neither of them tightened up. Watch the arm action. The leg action was still firm. I think Keisha Baker, who has not run on anchors quite as fast as Beard, the crowd helped carry her down this stretch. Look at the good use of the arms by both of them, driving, just submitting their will to get to that finish line first, and Baker does it by inches. Texas A&M has the national championship, but Oregon claims the title in the women's 4x400.